my lovely wife has agreed to do some tedding today with the horses. We've had such a nice stretch of weather, we've been very, very busy making hay. Trudy is coming over also, and she's going to take the other team with my second tedder, and we're going to compare the two tedders for you. Oh. The line's back there. Good job. So this is our newer tether. We need a motor to run it because it's power takeoff. So I have this cart with a motor on it and a gear reduction power takeoff unit on it. It works pretty good. There's a lot of things that would change on the cart itself. But as you can see, it really throws the hay. When it, the grass is quite green, it will throw it sideways a long ways. So I have been lately taking my rake and going around the outside of the field and rolling the hay in. So I have to throw that windrow back out, but it doesn't go so far. And today, this hay is almost dry already. And the drier it is, the less it's thrown sideways. But if you're mowing right next to some standing hay, it will throw it right into the standing hay and then you can't really get it raked up. Earlier today I raked the outside window and had a pleasant surprise I'll have to show you. This has a Honda motor on it. It's a 13 horsepower. It's quite efficient. I don't always use the horses. I will at times use the tractor also. In the heat of the day, when there's so much ground to cover, sometimes when I'm alone, I would just use the tractor because I just can't do it all. So now we'll go see Trudy tedding with the old Grim tether that I have. I've had it years and years. Actually, it's the second one I've had. And it has always done a fair job. It just doesn't seem to pick everything up clean, clean like my new one does. and doesn't seem to throw it as far. But uh, it worked good for years and years. The kids all learned how to drive horses pulling this tether. Both Brenda and Trudy say that I would rather use the Grim Tether because of the quietness. The motor is noisy, even though it's a quiet Honda, and they would just as soon have less noise. I'd have to say though, the last <laughs> two years since I bought that new tether, we've been able to dry our hay considerably faster than ever before. Okay, we're in the clover field. It's uh, drying quite nicely. Um, I think tomorrow we should be able to bail it. There's still some green in there. We've tethered it twice now with the other tether. If uh, I was concerned with rain, I would ted it again with the other tether. But at this stage, I'm concerned of it uh, taking off leaves and we want to save as many leaves as we can. So we'll just ted it with this and then hopefully tomorrow I'll rake it up and bail it. Okay, Trudy, I'm curious. 
Do you remember when you, how old you were when you did your first heading for me? I have no idea. I'm maybe 10, 12, I have no idea. But you did a lot of tedding for me when you were yeah, a kid. Yeah, I did hours and hours. Yeah, I know so often I would send you out to ted a field and you'd get it done once and I'd say head right out and do it again. Yeah. When uh, you had that nice cheap help, it was uh, <laughs> worth uh, working them and I had the horsepower so we did that quite a bit. So anyways, we're going to um, jump over to the other field though now and I wanted to compare the two tatters, so I will stop Brenda and we'll head over there. Go over? Yep. Okay, let's see him work side by side. Even though I like the overall performance of my new tether, the old Grim tether still has many advantages. When I'm tethering the clover like I was earlier, it's just a lot gentler on the leaves. There's also times where I have a windrow already raked up and it's still a little bit green. I've taken the Grim tether and I've just gone through the windrows and just fluffed up the windrows and it's dried out tremendously faster. So there's, there's good and bad both. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching my haying crew as much as I've enjoyed having them do this work for me. It's so nice to have the girls when I need the extra hands to come and jump right in and do the work that needs to be done for me. I very much appreciate it. On Monday, Abby is going to be doing a video for you on raking with the horses. So stay tuned for that. Have a great day.